If you are a location-based business, you have a huge opportunity to help your website better rank in search engines like Google. That's because most local businesses aren't doing a great job at SEO and you can step in, make a few small changes to your site and see major results. Hi, I'm Galen. I'm a web designer and SEO strategist. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about three places that you can include location-based keywords on your homepage to rank higher in search. But first things first, before I start working with any new location location-based clients. I go to Google, I type in their primary service offering as well as their location. Typically I do this in an incognito window just so the search results aren't as personalized and I see what shows up. I like to stalk the competition a little bit and see what types of sites are ranking. Do the websites feel really fresh and creative that are showing up in search results or are they pretty outdated? Do those pages have a ton of content on them or are they feeling a little bit sparse? How many pages does each of these sites have? Do they have a blog with hundreds of posts already? Or are they somebody who has a simple two page website? This can tell me a lot about what we're stacked up against and how much we need to improve my client's website. If we want to see meaningful results, sometimes clients come to me just for SEO, which is great, but I love when they come to me looking for a website overhaul and a rebrand as well as SEO work. Cause we can really tie everything together and structure the site with SEO friendly content from the start. So my first tip, which might seem obvious is to include include your location keyword in the content, but I'm gonna get more specific than that. You don't just wanna include your primary location once on the homepage. Typically people will have it in that top section in the heading at the very beginning of the page. While that's great, that's not the only place that you should have your location. Typically I like to see your primary location listed in the heading one at the top of the page. And if you're not familiar with headings, basically it is the way that you structure content on your page. You'll have heading ones, heading twos, heading threes, and paragraphs content and they're all nested within each other. You have one heading one per page and that should have your location and your primary service right at the top. If someone has to scroll to figure out where you are located, that's a huge red flag. We don't want to make your website visitors work hard to figure out where you're located. We want it to be obvious from the moment they hit the page and that makes it obvious to Google too. Now that we have your main location in the heading, we also want to think about where we could include secondary locations. So this could be things like surrounding towns or neighborhoods where you also serve clients. So maybe somewhere near the top of the page, say you serve the Boston area, you say serving Boston, as well as Somerville, Cambridge, the North End, and the surrounding Boston area. Another great place to include location keywords on the homepage is the about section. Let's include a little bit of your history in the location that you serve. So maybe you have lived in Boston your whole life and you've lived in these different neighborhoods and this is what you love about the city and your favorite neighborhood is XYZ because the food scene really great there. So you're tying those location keywords into your about me section. This is a great trick. The second place you can include location keywords on your homepage is in your page title and meta description. This doesn't actually show up on your website. It's more behind the scenes and you can typically find it in the SEO settings of whatever website platform you're using. Your page title should really focus on that primary location and the primary service that you offer there. And your meta description could share a few other locations and really just introduce someone to your business business and encourage them to click on your Google listing and head over to your website. Because while it doesn't show up on your website, it does show up in Google search. And it's typically the first impression that someone will have of your business. The third place to add location keywords to your homepage is definitely underutilized. And that is your image file names and alt text. So if you didn't know, you should be renaming at least some of the images on your website before you upload them to your website platform, or depending what website platform you are using, sometimes you can edit the file name after you upload, but you want to be editing the file name to include details about what's actually in each image. Your file name is typically short and sweet, a few different keywords separated by hyphens, and your alt text is more like a one sentence story about the who, what, where, when, and maybe why of the image. You don't need to include your location in every single image file name and alt text, but if it feels relevant for that image, then I would definitely throw it in there. Not only can this help the image rank independently of your website in Google image search, Search, but it can also just help to add a little bit of context to the images to help your site rank better overall. Pro tip, you also want to be resizing and optimizing your images before you upload them to your website platform as well. Certain platforms like WordPress allow you to do this after they've been uploaded, but I always like to do it on my Mac, on my desktop, using an app called Image Optim before I upload them just to get it out of the way. This will help your site load faster and Google loves fast websites. If you are a location-based business owner, 
disclaimer, let me know in the comments below any other questions that you have about SEO, and I'd love to make a video about that too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're having trouble getting your website to rank in search as a local business, you can book me for an SEO power hour. I will include the link below this video or book me for a website overhaul with SEO strategy top of mind. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.